The school platform is very cool in some ways and very, very, very problematic in other ways. In this video, I intend to rant all about it. So if you're interested in that or if you're running your business on school, you might want to stick around. Now, before we get into the ranting part, let me sh share why you should even listen or consider listening to me because I'm just a random person on the internet. I have made games for the, the first 10 years of my career I, and I worked as an engineer, mostly in startups because I was just this random bloke. And uh, then I be became an engineering manager, started building IT teams, started selling IT services and grew my last company to 70 people. Now my business helps creators build their own businesses because I found that enterprise in IT is super boring and I wanted to do this with way more fun people, which, creators, which includes creators and build this business with my partner to be help creators. Anyway, a lot of creators and a lot of businesses nowadays are using school as a way to monetize and get this alluring re recurring revenue. Alluring recurring revenue is something that I should tattoo on my forehead because it sounds so cool. Anyhow, and this is a friend's community. This, like, this is not connected to this specific community at all. I'm just using this as an example. So I'll show you the prob what the problem was. Unfortunately, I clicked here and this number here is incorrect and I'm, I don't want to bother changing it because that would be cheating. But when I logged in today, because I haven't logged in here for a while, I clicked this and I saw 99 notifications, 99. And those notifications, even though you, you, you see half of them are hidden, all of them, every single one of them was not from this community. Every single one was from a different community than the one that I wanted to visit. That is a massive, massive problem because short term school has this amazing, has two, not two, not one, two amazing benefits. The first amazing benefit is that is a platform that has discoverability. That means you can find other communities on school. You can go, go around, search, discover communities and actually find the new community for yourself. You can find your people and join them. This is amazing. This is very, very useful. And every platform that has good discoverability can be exceptionally powerful for growing your business because people can by default just find you. This is awesome. But that's not everything that school offers. School offers another thing that I think is amazing. And that is the lightweight gamification system. You can see it here in the leaderboard. And here, if you open the leaderboard, you'll see the different levels they have and all of that jazz. This thing here has a big purpose. It rewards people for other people engaging with them. You get points, which translate to experience points and levels, and then levels can translate in some rewards. But basically, you get points when people engage with your content. So you write a post, people like it, you get a point. And this facilitates something important, which is it aligns my incentive of wanting social acceptance and social, you know, uh, everyone liking me and liking numbers and engagement because those, you know, release a lot of dopamine with what the community wants. That's a good win-win. You want in game design, in good games, you want win-wins. You want whatever the player wants and whatever the game designer wants to align and, and point in the same direction. Same thing in business, by the way. But the point is here, it makes a lot of sense. I, I want to get dopamine from getting a lot of engagement and the, the platform wants a lot of engagement because this engagement creates buzz in the community that creates more of this community, like literally the word means community, people talking to one another. And this ends up creating a very, very good situation for both me and the owner of the community. That's amazing. And we want that, like this is something that is amazing and that can create a lot of benefits for your community and make it less boring. Because the biggest issue that you'll find building a community is that people stop posting and it's dead and no one cares and it's boring as hell. So this is the biggest issue. How you solve that is by you being more active than anyone else or hiring a bunch of community managers. There is no way around that. If you want to run a community passively, it's not going to work. But anyhow, the problem that school has that we're getting to finally is that school is a platform that has discoverability and that hosts multiple communities. You can see here, I click and I get access to a bunch of communities all at the same time. What that means, translated, is that I get notifications in one website for every single one of those communities. So if I'm running my community on school, which I will never do for that very reason that I'm explaining, is something very obvious happens. I write a bunch of good emails. I do, you know, I do my best to get people to open school and talk to everyone in the community. I, I try to engage them as well as I could. 
they open the website and then they, they see the notification bubble, which is something that every social platform has trained, the, uh, trained us to click and look at. And they click this and suddenly they get distracted by everyone else's communities. Sure, I can have some notifications there, but most people nowadays end up being in 17 school communities. And I am very conservative with this. Like I'm, I'm in, I mean, like eight, six, seven of them. Uh, and most people are in way more. And most of your clients will be in way more, which is a problem because they will get a ton of notifications and you can do all the work to get people to engage with the community and then someone can steal your traffic. I don't like that. I hate that actually. And I hate the fact that I, have, that, that I don't have this control. And yes, I can do the, other t the opposite to other communities, but I simply don't want to play this game. I don't want to compete with school for who gets the eyeballs that I created. I want to do all my own traffic. And this is never happening on school, unfortunately, because of how the platform is built. Those shared notifications are horrible because of that reason. And they're, they're the reason I will never be using the platform because it just doesn't make any sense. And they do not outweigh the benefits that you know this uh, extra discoverability is giving me. And the gamification is exceptionally simple to make and many platforms already copy and paste it because it's just a very basic thing. Like it's just a point system with thresholds for levels with a bunch of points. Unfortunately, a lot of great platforms have this same issue. For example, Discord, one of my most favorite platforms of all time, has this exact same problem. Everyone has a thousand notifications on Discord. It's notification hell out there and it just doesn't work to run a community because people get distracted so often. And yes, that's not going to be all of your users, but if 40% of your users are actually getting distracted, that's a lot less engagement and that's a lot less fun for everyone in the community because the platform is stealing your traffic. I can't accept that for my own platforms and I cannot recommend it for yours. So, what's the solution? Pick a platform that allows you to branch off and only run notifications for your very own, uh, for your very, very own community. I uh, will probably be using uh, something uh, that I host myself. There are some uh, open source options that you can host yourself. None of, none of them are perfect, but you can you can build something and and run it on WordPress, uh, or you can uh, use a self-hosted platform. And yeah, unfortunately, this is a big bummer, and I would not recommend it. Uh, because what happens long term, oh, by the way, this is the, the the first problem. The second problem is this gamification long term also doesn't work because this is a very basic form of experience. What happens when you have a, uh, everyone is on the last level? Imagine here level six was the last level. So this this level here is, uh, is level six. Let's imagine this is this is the last level. If this was the last level, this number is only going up because people are leveling up. So everyone levels up, levels up, level. Eventually you have 20% of your member on the last level. What does that do? Everyone who is here is like, oh shit, everyone else is on the last level, I'm missing out. That's not very motivating. And everyone who is here is saying, hey, make a new level. We want more. We want to level up more because it's fun to level up. So what do you do? You make a new level. And what happens? Suddenly after you know six, eight months, everyone is on that level. And then everyone is on the next level until eventually the journey between level one and level whatever the last one is, is so damn long that people don't want to play your game. This is something that games has fa have faced many times. There's, there's something called level squashes. You should take a game that has 120 levels and you squash them to just 60 or just you know 40 or whatever the, number, the new number is because people just don't want to, to experience that many level ups. It's way too much. And keep in mind, people have way less patience and they're way less trained for those level ups in you know, community platforms and, and course platforms compared to games. In games, every game trains you to, to, to get a bunch of level ups and that level ups are awesome. And you have a lot more tools you can reward people with. Here, the, you're more limited and it's way less effective. So this inflation of levels is, is another problem. So the basic result of that is that the two best features, the discoverability, and the level up systems of school long term work against you. The level up system actively pushes people to engage less because there is such a gap between them and people on the highest level. And the, the discoverability works not in your favor because people also discover content from all the, the other networks when you push them to, to open up the platform. So that combined is a horrible thing to, to, for a long term community and I will not recommend it.
Unfortunately, I do like a lot of the th things about the platform, but that for me is a deal breaker. So yeah, hopefully that helps you. And if you are struggling with any of those problems, that can help you understand at least why. But yeah, if you need help setting something uh, alternative for yourself, hit me up. It's not going to be cheap, but I can set it up, set you a custom community just for you. Or just stick with that and see where you where you end up. Like, it's not a complete deal breaker for most people. You can still have a working business. But in my opinion, this is not worth it. And me as an engineer, I just can't accept it. And I would just do something on my own. But yeah, I hope that helps.